Hello, I J Vijay Chandra welcomes you to Wits Connect. Today I am going to take a session on water jet problem. This is part of artificial intelligence subject. So, water jet problem we are going to solve now. You are given two jets, a four gallon one and a three gallon one. Near, neither having any measuring mark on it. There are uh, there is a pump. that you can fill the jugs with water how can you exactly 2 gallon of water into 4 gallon jug meku rent jugs ivabaddai okati 4 gallon one and 3 gallon one what meda elanti markings levu but you have to find exactly 2 gallon of water in the 4 gallon jug 4 gallon jug lo exactly 2 gallon of water ni manamu find cheyali the production rules for the water jet problem ee problem ki production rules enti ante ante mathematical ga first we have to solve this particular problem then algorithmic steps we should be given then only we can write a program on this particular problem for the artificial intelligence uh, problem solution purpose so the first step uh, first is the state space the two integers are taken as an ordered pair set of an ordered pair x comma y where x can be 0 x can be 1 x can be 2 x can be 3 or 4 that means the maximum x value is 4 since we taken a 4 gallon jug that is x we coordinated with x and 3 gallon jug is coordinated with y so the maximum inputs are for the y is 3 and for the x is 4 so the y values may be 0 1 2 3 so the x is the number of gallons of water in the 4 gallon jug and y is the number of quantity of water in the 3 gallon jug next the um, mathematical description as well as the algorithmic description or these are the activities different activities we can uh, implement uh, on this particular problem to get a proper solution so the first activity is x comma y if x is less than here is also equal to 4 stands for 4 comma y fill the 4 gallon jug next x comma y if x is less than or equal to 3 x comma 3 that means filling the 3 gallon jug x comma y if x is greater than 0 that means x minus d comma y pour some water out of the 4 gallon jug then x comma y if y is greater than 0 x comma y minus d pour some water out of 3 gallon jug here d value is some water we don't know how much exactly water we are going going to pour out of the jug that's why when you are going to pour out uh, water from out of x that means x minus d is given when you are going to pour uh, water from y that means 3 gallon jug y minus d is given in the mathematical equation then comes to the fifth step x comma y if x is greater than 0 stands to 0 comma y empty the 4 gallon jug on the ground x comma y if y is greater than 0 x comma 0 that means empty the 3 gallon jug on the ground you are going to pour the water from the x x gallon x jug that means 4 gallon jug totally that means the value of x will become 0 so 0 comma y is the paid coordinates then comes to the if you are go, going to pay the water from 3 gallon jug that will become x comma 0 that is empty the 3 gallon jug is empty then x comma y if x plus y is greater than or equal to 0 or equal to 4 and x is greater than 0 which stands to 4 comma y minus 4 minus x so pour water from 3 gallon jug into the 4 gallon jug until the 4 gallon jug is full next is x comma y if x plus y is greater than or equal to 3 and x is greater than 0 stands to x minus of 3 minus y comma 3 so you are going to pour the water from the uh, water from the 4 gallon jug into the 3 gallon jug until the 3 gallon jug is filled so these steps 7 and 8 are 
meant for pouring shifting the water from 3 to 4 and 4 to 3 next comes to the ninth step that is pour all the water from the 3 gallon jug into the 4 gallon jug that means here mathematically if x plus y is less than or equal to 4 and y is greater than 0 then the coordinates will be changed y value will become 0 since we are pouring all the water from the 3 gallon jug to the 4 gallon jug then the x plus y value will be there in the 4 gallon jug then in the same way we are reversing it the 4 gallon pour all the water from the 4 gallon jug to the 3 gallon jug so 4 gallon jug will become empty so 0 comma x plus y next step it is 0 comma 2 and uh, uh, it stands to 2 comma 0 that means we are shifting from uh, uh, y jug that means y coordinates to the x pour the 2 gallon water from 3 gallon jug into the 4 gallon jug so you are going to pour the water from the 3 gallon jug to the 4 gallon jug then next step is the 2 comma y stands to 0 comma y empty the 2 gallon in the 4 gallon jug on the ground whatever the water you are having that you are going to empty it then the final solution in the general terms the first step is fill the 3 gallon jug with water and make the 4 gallon jug empty the first step is you are going to empty the 4 gallon jug next second step pour the water from the 3 gallon jug into 4 gallon jug you are going to pour the water from the 3 gallon jug to the 4 gallon jug so here again the next step again fill the 3 gallon jug with water 3 gallon jug with water and fill it again in the 4 gallon jug so again you are going to fill the in the 4 gallon jug that means 4 gallon jug will be now it's 4 gallon of water and 3 gallon jug will be with the 2 gallon of water now pour down the 4 gallon water into the ground onto the ground you are going to pour down the water onto the ground and water now the 4 gallon jug will be empty now fill the water from the 4 gallon jug sorry fill the water from the 3 gallon jug which is having the 2 gallon of water into the 4 gallon jug by this we completed the problem we shifted the now the present water in the 4 gallon jug is 2 gallon of water as per the work requirement so this is the problem of water jack problem so this is the so steps involved for getting a solution okay thank you thank you very much for kind attention thank you very much